So hi, we are the Bioabsorbable Magnesium Surgical Staples Project Team. We're sponsored by Boston Scientific. We're a cross-functional senior design team. We have biomedical engineers, material science engineers, as well as chemical engineers. Um, our project, the whole goal of it was to be able to bridge the gap between what's already out there, the titanium staples as well as the polymer sutures. So we developed a, a metal closure device product that basically is bioabsorbable, ductile enough to form a shape that can close the tissue, as well as has the mechanical strength in order to keep the tissue closed throughout the entire healing process. And so I will turn it over to Meredith. So we started this project by looking at material selection. Magnesium was the suggested material for this project, but we decided to look at alloys as well to try to get a higher ductility, closer to that of titanium. So we have our table with all the mechanical properties, and then we use a few matrix to rank the properties against each other. And we came up with some alloys that would be uh, better suited for this project than pure magnesium. But we decided to look at pure magnesium this year and leave the alloys for a future group to kind of develop test methods and as a baseline for comparison. So we used pure magnesium wire and corroded it in water, Dubuckel's modified eagle medium, and simulated intestinal fluid. We then tensile tested them and we got these graphs here to show the strength loss over the corrosion period of 21 days. And we took backscatter electron images on the SEM to show the penetration depth as well as EDS to show the corrosion layer composition. Elise also did a console simulation of the corrosion and she'll tell you about that now. Okay, so because there, we were not able to verify our data in vivo, we, we did find a way to re relate our, our data to future studies by developing a console simulation which gives the data that we have summed up into a simulation which shows the progression over time of magnesium in water. And because of that, we will be able to give our data to future groups and therefore be able to uh, relate our in, vivo, our in vitro methods to their in vitro studies.